What if I told you there is an organ in your body the size of your fist that beats 100,000 times a day and pumps five liters of blood per minute? What if I told you that this organ beats 36 million times a year, 2.5 billion times in your lifetime and can triple and quadruple and quintuple your output to even 30, 40 liters per minute in the elite athlete? Would you believe me? Well, you have such an organ in the middle of your chest your heart. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, board certified cardiologist. Today we are going to look at top five benefits of exercise to enhance this amazing pump your heart. I'll have a bonus at the end of the video. Stick around, you'll be surprised. You don't want to miss it. Let's dive in. Number one, exercise lowers your risk of a heart attack and stroke. Heart attack and strokes are two leading causes of death in the US. And exercise strengthens your heart muscle, improving the heart's ability to pump blood to your entire body from the tip of your head to the tip of your toes. How much exercise strengthens your heart muscle exercise can increase your cardiac output from 5 liters per minute up to 30 40 liters per minute in elite athletes and if you exercise and you still have a heart attack you decrease risk of dying from any cause in the first year after the your heart attack is cut down by 39 percent compared to people who did not exercise and you will decrease the risk of having a second heart attack by 34 percent and in fact the data is very clear if you exercise regular and you are able to reach 10 mats, 10 metabolic equivalent of tasks or more, your prognosis is excellent regardless if you had a heart attack in the past, if you had stents placed, if you had bypass surgery, you're going to do very well indeed. Number two, exercise helps you lose weight and keep excess pounds at bay. Exercise increases your calorie burn, not just while you're doing it, but afterwards as well. It's going to increase your metabolic rate. How much exercise is the standard 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week, 75 minutes of high intensity exercise. We want to add two sessions of strength training a week as well to avoid loss of muscle mass, so we call it sarcopenia. Keep in mind, one pound of fat has 3,500 calories, so you need to burn 500 calories a day for seven days to lose one pound, everything else being equal. This is why the best way to lose weight is to combine exercise with a healthier diet, moving towards a plant-based diet. What does that mean? Is more fruits, more vegetables, whole grains, eliminating sugar sweetened beverages, eliminating the white bread, white pasta, white rice, replacing with whole grain breads, whole pasta and brown rice. Even if you do not lose weight, you gain health benefits of exercise. You are better off obese and fit than slim and unfit. Number three, exercise lowers your blood pressure. In fact, during exercise, your sympathetic tone goes up, your vagal tone goes down, leads to increase in the heart rate, the cardiac output, and your blood pressure goes up. But however, continuous uh, exercise will function as a better block rate, will slow down your heart rate, will lower your blood pressure. And how much can you expect to drop your blood pressure if you exercise? The data is very clear. Both aerobic exercise and strengthening exercise weights both lower your blood pressure. However, in people who have high blood pressure, they define solar blood pressure 140 or higher, the upper number. The combination of cardio and resistance exercise lower your blood pressure by 13.5 millimeters of mercury. This is enough to replace maybe even two blood pressure medications that you may be taking. And obviously lower blood pressure makes you easy on your heart to do its job, pump blood to the rest of your body. Number four, exercise lowers the risk of diabetes. And regular aerobic exercise makes it easier for your muscles to process glycogen, the main fuel for energy. And the lifestyle prevention program looked that people who had pre-diabetes and they put them on a medication called met metformin. In one group, they put them on exercise 150 minutes a week. The other group was on a placebo. Over follow-up of 2.8 years, metformin decreased diabetes by 31%. But exercise decreased the instant diabetes by 58%, almost double the reduction of diabetes that you got with the drug, with the metformin. And obviously diabetes is a major risk factor for coronary artery disease, lower your diabetes incidence will lower your risk of coronary artery disease. Number five, exercise helps you quit smoking. In fact, people who exercise become more fit often tend to quit. Exercise reduces your cravings and withdrawal symptoms. It will also limit the weight you might gain when you stop smoking. If you didn't get the memo and you're still smoking, you need to talk to your doctor. There are many ways that can help you 
with the patches, nicotine patches or medications help you get off the smoking. Here's the bonus I promised at the beginning of the video. Many Americans do not exercise. Can I still improve my heart health through physical activity? And the answer is yes. Every time you make your heart pumping, your muscles moving, your sweat glands working, any physical activity counts and improves your heart health. Going shopping, gardening, walking with your dog, walking with your neighbors is all benefiting your heart health. In summary, exercise reduces the risk of heart attacks and strokes, protects your heart, lowering your blood pressure, lowering your blood sugar, and helping you lose weight. More is better, but every step counts. Stick to what you can stick with. And remember, your health is your most precious asset. Take control, don't forget to subscribe. See you next video. Oh, I forgot something. Love your heart. Move more, sit less.